you know, some microphones are going to come in a little louder than others. Sometimes people will have their mics closer to their mouths. And so the levels might not always be necessarily one to one. And so there's a lot of tools uh, built into modern switchers and production software that lets you control the audio and level out and equalize all of that so it sounds a little more cohesive. You know, you can do things as simple as just lowering the volume on a certain track if someone's coming in a little too hot, or uh, if someone's mic is picking up a lot of harsh, you know, S's and P's and T's and like pops and clicks and that kind of thing, you know, maybe throw on an equalizer plugin and, and clip out a little bit of that high end to soften the, uh, the sound that's coming in from their microphone a little bit. And uh, VST3 effect plugins are supported in Wirecast now, so you can do that all in Wirecast and not necessarily have to bring any audio clips into you know, an outside audio processing software or, or anything super complicated mm -hmm. like that. You just bring it into Wirecast, slap on an equalizer plugin, and you're off to the races there. It's important to just make sure that you've got sort of reasonable levels at all those different spots. And it's important to know what those different spots are so that if you're hearing something clipping, you can find where that is happening, right? It gets a little complicated, but you just have to remember what your chain is. Where does it come in? Where does it go out? And just know how many stops you have on that on that little track yeah and that's a good point brandon and, and i think we put out a, a a quick clip you know a few days ago of lynn talking about how we route audio for our wirecast show and and kind of some of the tips that she's done in order to get our audio to a kind of level playing field across all of our different speakers and stuff you know we're not perfect we're figuring this out as we go but you know that's that's the point of this right is you, you got to run these shows a couple times you got to experiment with it you got to get the audio feeds coming into your show and test it out to see where things actually need to be 